I'm here today with Assemblyman Kevin Cahill, who represents 103rd Assembly District in New York State, right in the heart of the Hudson Valleys and Catskills. I'm proud that uh, Kevin is also my Assembly member and representing uh, me for state government. Um, Assemblyman, we're wondering a little bit about some of your thoughts about Earth Day. I know you are a great student of history. Uh, Earth Day has been around for 50, 50 years. We're having a big anniversary this year. And you know, years ago, people came together to really fight for a better world and a clean and healthy environment. I'm wondering what Earth Day means to you. Well, Andy, I remember Earth Day as a child. I was in middle school, junior high school at the time. And I remember it being the first time that what we were then calling the establishment embraced the civil disobedience movement. Uh, people were demonstrating in a number of different ways, but this was the first time that I heard political leaders also chiming in and uh, Nelson Rockefeller declaring it Earth Day. And actually, as we previously discussed, Andy, uh, uh, signed into law the founding of the Department of Environmental Conservation on, on that day in 1970. But all over um, the country and in fact, all over the world, people got together. Uh, a remarkable coincidence about 50 years ago was uh, uh, pictures in major newspapers across the country of people wearing face masks that day. Um, so it's pretty interesting that 50 years later we are all outside wearing face masks for real. But, uh, but Earth Day has also been a rallying point. It's been an opportunity to teach young people. You know, they started with teach-ins. That was what Earth Day did the first time, was basically the students took over the classroom and they started teaching their elders about uh, environmental sensitivity and, and being aware of the earth that we live in and our responsibility. Um, and to this day, it serves that purpose of, of reminding us and educating us. Uh, I think it's it's also remarkable that it has endured for 50 years. It is it is still a celebration of spring. It is still a celebration of where we live. Uh, some of the causes have changed. Some of them have become much more sophisticated. And in many respects, it mirrors the experience of, uh, of scenic Hudson over the course of the last 50 years uh, in, in the levels of sophistication that we've experienced. So uh, it's an important day. It's an important day for all of us. I couldn't agree more. You know, I'm thinking about our work together um, at the State House in Albany and just what a storied you know, career you've had there as a champion of the environment. I think you probably have one of the highest uh, environmental voting records of uh, every uh, member of your chamber. And I'm wondering with your, your tenure of service and your commitment to the environment, what are some of your proudest accomplishments uh, legislatively that relate to uh, the environment? You know, coming into this office, succeeding the great Maurice Hinchy, who was probably the all-time greatest environmentalist who served in the assembly, uh, provided a legacy that I had to follow very, very carefully. So it was always second nature. There was never any thinking about, uh, oh, are there any trees or smokestacks associated with this bill? Or, or uh, is this a good idea or a bad idea? We knew. We knew in our heart. It's part of the fiber of where we live, as you well know, because you're from this community as well. Uh, it's where we live, and it's, and it's, and it's how we think. So um, when it comes to environmental legislation, of course, there are many individual uh, measures that I'm proud of, but I'm also proud of the body collectively. I'm proud of the fact that we finally, just uh, several years ago, started to fully fund the Environmental Protection Fund. I'm proud of the fact that we set aside money to acquire land and preserve it forever. Um, I'm proud of the fact that, that we continue to, uh, to have a robust environmental protection department in this state, even though there are times where we disagree, we don't think they go far enough. Um, we're very happy with that. I'm so proud of being from the community uh, that is surrounded by amazing and gorgeous uh, state parks and preserves. All those things makes me Make, make me just swell with pride, not just of, of my association, but, but of, of where we live. Uh, in terms of individual legislative accomplishments, um, it's very hard to single out anyone, but I would have to go back to my, my tenure as energy chair, where we created Green Jobs Green New York and, uh, and developed a, a comprehensive and, and dynamic energy planning process for New York State. Um, I go back to the founding of, of Scenic Hudson, uh, back in the early 1960s, when Scenic Hudson was fighting, of all things, a hydroelectric plant. 
the answer then is the same as the answer is today. Uh, conservation is the most environmentally friendly way to do, do things, and that's exactly what we intended to do with Green Jobs. So now, um, several years later, after Green Jobs Green New York was put into place, tens of thousands of people have been trained in green technologies. Millions of millions of dollars have been distributed to people across New York State to conserve, to retrofit their homes, to make life a little more comfortable and easier, and of course, to reduce the carbon footprint. More recently, um, it's not a success yet, but I, I feel the tide turning. Um, I've been an advocate for a carbon tax. It's time for a carbon tax in New York. It's time to make carbon taxing uh, one of the fundamentals way, fundamental ways we raise money in this state. And we're gonna continue that fight. And hopefully we'll get that done in the very near future. Great, well, thank you so much for your leadership on so many issues. The environment, certainly one of them. And uh, we wish you well during this time. And uh, thank you as always for your service. Thank you, Andy. Thank you for all that Cena Cutson does and, and all that you do personally. Your advocacy in our community has been very important. We can talk about so many things that Cena Cutson has done from uh, uh, closing Indian Point to making sure PCBs are cleaned up out of the Hudson to the variety of land acquisitions to the beautiful walkway over the Hudson. All these things have, have uh, at the imprimatur of, of Cena Cuts and on them. And we're very grateful and very fortunate to have you in the community as well. So best wishes for a happy 50th birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Be well.